Hi there. Welcome to 60 Matthews. I'm Matthew, and due to the coronavirus, quarantine, and social distancing, I'm going to be drawing for a while. So, life is weird right now. I'm off work for an indefinite amount of time, but I've got plenty of work to do on everything else I've got going on. I'm going to use this time to develop more of my visual artistic skills. I've already made a video where I did a painting that I was proud of, and I really miss doing challenges. So for every day that I'm in quarantine, I'll be doing a drawing. It could be anything from cartoon to realistic to landscape to portraits to logos to random abstract stuff. I just have to draw something. The other side of this challenge is getting it all on the computer. I know a little bit about how to draw and make it not look like a four-year-old did it, but I know nothing about how to get that image into the computer. I've done it a couple of times, but not very well. I've never wanted to commit to Photoshop, but I found a free app called GIMP that will start my education into graphic design. Yesterday I was able to rework my logo a little bit and get it into the computer so that I could animate it for the intro that started this video. Even this simple thing was really frustrating, so I've got a lot of practice to do. I need something to distract me from the weird state of the world, so I'm gonna put on some chill lo-fi tunes and just draw for a while. So I've got the sketch of this done, now it's time to get it into the computer. I know I said that I needed to distract myself from the coronavirus, but my friend of mine suggested this since it's a pandemic. Yeah, so I couldn't resist. Thanks, Norma. Anyway, time to make this digital. So I tried to draw me, but I ended up drawing my dad. I mean, do you disagree? I lost my dad a couple of years ago, so in the midst of this crisis, it's kind of nice to have this reminder. So thanks, universe.
These past two weeks have been really, really weird. On one hand, I'm nervous and I'm frightened about the state of the world. And on the other hand, it's been kind of nice. I've spent a lot of time reading and researching this virus, what the government is doing, what other governments are doing, what we can personally do, what I can personally do, if we should be really worried and planning for six months without grocery stores, if we should just live our lives more normally and just wash our hands more. But then the rest of my day is spent distracting myself from all of that. I'll spend a fair amount of time going on hikes with Jackson. I cook, I watch TV but most of my time is spent adding skills to my artistic tool belt, which I have been obsessing over these past couple of weeks. I've been drawing, I've been animating, I've been learning how to use all the tools in GIMP, I've been learning how to use all the tools in DaVinci Resolve, my video editor, I've looked into Blender to get into 3D modeling, and animating with more than just crappy, sketchy 2D drawings. I've even looked into getting a green screen so that I can do a lot of really cool stuff with my videos. Basically this week, I've tapped into a lot more of my artistic potential. As a kid, I remember trying to make videos with little action figures and just shaking them as they spoke and then changing my voice, and now I can do that but for real. I got out of that for a long time because I thought that you needed really expensive cameras and really intricate rigs and professional editing software and like an entire team of people that will help you make videos. But similar to my journey into game development, I'm learning that I can do a lot of this stuff myself. So I'm planning on doing a lot more of that and bringing that to this channel. In fact, the last images that you saw with the colorful shapes with smiley faces and weird looking hands, I plan on using them for a video in the future. I'll have to get a lot more into 3D animation and wrap my head around how to actually do that, but I wanted to brainstorm and come up with a few characters by doing that. So in my self-quarantine, I've taken advantage of my time and I've learned a lot. With drawing, I've learned just how little of a detail can make the biggest difference. That something needs to be at the exact angle or else it throws the proportions off and makes the entire thing look off. I've also learned to sketch out your space and your proportions and then slowly layer on details. I've also learned that getting sketched drawings into the computer is not difficult at all. If you don't have a scanner, you just take a picture of it that is really evenly lit. That's very important. <laughs> and then you adjust the saturation, the contrast, and the exposure, and then you can play around with it. I actually found it kind of fun and relaxing to go in with a mouse and erase all of the extra sketched lines, to smooth out some of the thicker lines, to straighten up some of the jagged lines, and that way, if I mess up, I can just undo it and try it again. It's not so easy with a pen and pencil. And most of all, I've learned the importance of practicing. I drew a lot of robots. I know that it was just simple squares and cubes and circles, but the amount of times that I had to draw circles, I got better at drawing circles. The first few that I did, I knew they looked off, but I didn't really know what it was. But once I completed them and I stepped back and looked, I said, oh, that's what's wrong. And so I was able to fix it. Now I know that I am still very much a beginner. I know nothing in this video is very impressive to other people, but to me, I see the potential in all of it. I can see now that I am able to do stuff that I thought was only limited to people who were like highly trained professionals. I'm slowly building up my confidence and my abilities to do whatever I want. So look forward to a lot better and a lot cooler stuff coming to this channel. But for now, that's all I have for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching me grow my artistic abilities. I really, really hope that you're safe at home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.